saved. Enjoyed that message. Our brother Hill made me think just the other day. Um, a little five-year-old niece called us. We were at a meeting singing. And she said, I just won't call you until you I got saved. And she just turned, barely just turned five. Well, the, we got home and that weekend, that she, her and her little cousin came to the house. And I could hear her in the next room. She said, you heard I got saved, didn't you? And the little girl said, I heard. And I didn't hear the rest of the conversation. Then all of a sudden I heard her telling her. She said, well, you know how when the wind blows, you really can't see it? She said, but you know what's there? She said, that's how it is with Jesus. You can't see him, but he's in my heart. And I'm so glad I learned at a young age. And this is one of the scriptures in the Bible that talks about the wind. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea the lord is my strength and song and he is become my salvation he is my god and i will prepare him an habitation my father's god and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy, and in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown him that rose up against thee. Thou sendest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble, and with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, thou stretchest out thy right Let forth the people which thou hast redeemed, redeemed. I have a song I love to sing since I have been redeemed. 
of my Redeemer, Savior, King, since I have been redeemed. The Lord is my strength and song. Lord in heaven, I just want to, I want to serve notice on the devil. How many of y'all appreciate Brother Allen being obedient? I know what the devil will do. He'll, he'll go home with you. Amen. I appreciate him minding God. Amen. And uh, he knows enough about giving. Now, there's always people in a service that don't like offerings. But that's the only way to pay for a meeting. Isn't that right? That motel room's not free. All that food's not free. Amen. I'll tell you. Let me all come up. You and the kids come up here.
Will y'all sing that verse again? That little girl gave. She gave 27 cents. She gave everything she had. That's right. She gave it all, didn't she? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, buddy. Tell it, brother Bobby. Help yourself. Help yourself. Hallelujah. Shout it out. She gave it all, didn't she? If we had $230, we'd have $6,000. Isn't that a blessing? For $250. I appreciate that. I do. Amen. I tell you what, look, let's do. Don't let this, let's just get it all tonight. Y'all want to get it all tonight? I didn't get too many amens right there. Why don't we get it all tonight and then let's just shout it out. Amen. Would that be all right? I love the Lord, don't you? So start digging, amen. That's right. Just bring it on up here. Let's just get it all tonight. I gave everything I had left. My wife's probably got money somewhere. So. Get, let her give everything she's got now. Just give it all tonight. Sing that verse. Sing another verse of that song. Maybe y'all did right there. Sing the whole song. The whole song. Let's just keep on giving tonight. Let's get it all. I was in a valley. I was seeking love. Fire you, darties, for the offering. We'll start singing them, amen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I 
I'll stand here and think about just what He's done and start counting my blessings one by one. I sure don't deserve all that He's done for me, but I'll praise Him forever through eternity. I am amazed that he take the time to give me such blessings and fill up my to show me his love he's built me a home in heaven above I am amazed that he take the time to give me such blessings to fill up my life he is so good I cannot express how thankful I am I am amazed that he take the
for heaven fair and the place you prepared me there and with all my heart I thank you Lord now this life is full of snares and those trials seem so hard to bear oh but it's then that I reach for that hand I know is always there and find and he still cares I bow my head and I say this little prayer that with all my heart I thank you Lord so with all my heart That you've prepared me there And with all my heart I thank you, Lord Yes, with all All of my heart I thank you, Lord Isn't that good? We got 9,100 Son had compassion. He said, Father, I'll be your lamb. So once again, blood was shed as the soldiers nailed his hands. It's been three days. you I'm gonna go home if you want to go home <laughs> but I appreciate the service appreciate what the Lord's done I appreciate God moving these that have been saved thank God for the good offering and I'm glad the wind's still blowing brother John thank God for it
I mean that. You know, there are three times in the Bible that God breathed. When he formed Noah's body, he lay there lifeless. And God breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul. Over there when those valley of dry bones was there, and as our preacher mentioned earlier, they came together and God breathed. And they stood up a living army. Up in the upper room in John chapter number 12, those disciples were lifeless as far as the unit of the church is concerned. No breath. They had a formed body, but they had no breath. God breathed upon them the Holy Ghost and said, receive the Holy Ghost. And immediately the verb tense changes and they became a living organism. The church did. Began with Christ and his work here on the earth, birthed in the upper room and baptized at Pentecost. Amen. I didn't mean to say all that, but it's in there anyway, in the word of God. Check of Peter chapter number three. I, I just came in from Michigan today and uh, I've been thinking all oh, my trip up there. I sit on the airplane flying up there thinking about tonight and should I preach or what I should preach. And, and for some reason, God began to deal with my heart about this and I spent the time going up there studying and looking at it. And then I've reviewed it up there and down here too. And uh, I want to just read these verses and then talk a few minutes about it uh, for tonight. And you pray God will help us and bless us. And I tell you what, pray the wind will blow. Right now, I'm not really interested in an outline. I'm interested in the inline. Amen. I pray God will blow through this place and do something for us in the service tonight. Could I just say this? Several have asked, do pray for my wife. My wife is not doing well since you had the many strokes and you pray for her. God will touch her and bless her and the Lord's will be done. Thank you for those that have prayed already. You continue to pray for Edna. Verse number one in 2 Timothy, 2 Peter chapter three. The Bible said this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Look at verse three. The Bible said, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Verse eight. The Bible said, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Verse nine, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Now I want you to notice there is no S on the end of that word. The Lord is not slack concerning any of his promises. But that's not what he's speaking about here. He's talking about one particular promise. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but is long suffering to us with, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Father, help me tonight to help your people and let the wind of God blow these moments, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Do keep your Bible in hand tonight for the word of God this evening.